The Air Mobile Air concept ensures a balance of mobility, firepower, intelligence, support and command and control. Landing can be carried out deep into enemy rear areas with the ability to quickly attack and retreat. Toward the end of the 1950s, the Army staff realized they needed something new. One of them was the decision to develop the Bell XH-40 utility helicopter with a turbine engine. The helicopter can lift up to a third of the strike element at once. The hallmark of the proposed air, helicopter, operation is to increase the use of support and carry supplies. On December 11, 1961, the United States aircraft carrier USNS Card docked in downtown Saigon with 32 U.S. Army H-21 helicopters and 400 men. The 57th Transport Company, Light Helicopter, from Fort Lewis, Washington, and the 8th Transport Company, Light Helicopter, from Fort Bragg, NC, have arrived in Southeast Asia. Just 12 days later these helicopters were put into Vietnam's first aerial combat action, Operation Chopper. About 1,000 Vietnamese paratroopers dropped into the suspected VC area. In February 1963, the United States Army created the 11th Air Assault Division, TEST, at Fort Benning, Georgia to assess a new concept of warfare air mobility. The intent was to produce faster-paced combat by bringing the infantry into battle via helicopter. Lt. Col. Harold G. Moore, Jr. took command of one of the battalions of the 11th Air Assault Division in June 1964. It was also during this second phase that the Huey came into its own. The turbine engine helicopter with its great power, its reliability, and its smaller requirement for maintenance, was the technological turning point as far as air mobility is concerned. Actually, the key improvement of technology was the trio of the Huey as a trooplift bird. The Chinook with its larger capacity for resupply and movement of artillery, and the fledgling attack helicopter, these three together allowed the Americans to take a giant step forward at this time. Air mobility worked in Vietnam in spite of the tremendous problems of working in the jungles and the mountains of an undeveloped country. The helicopter overcame the obstacles of limited landing zones. Primitive road nets, restricted observation, and high-density altitudes as no other vehicle could. 